uh, welcome to uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, battles on World of Tanks and this particular one actually that I'm going to show you it's um, it's not so much to do with any particular achievement of mine it just it has to do with how funny <laughs> this tank the BT2 the Russian BT2 tier 2 can actually be uh, well it can be it is funny to to uh, it is good fun to uh, to use it but it is especially uh, uh, good fun to let it run uh, as you can see in this um, beginning it also has a pretty good gun and could do some good damage good, good penetration against enemies uh, this particular game seems to be uh, doing all right you can see all the enemies are all concentrated on the top left or middle top left middle left of the map uh, there's plenty of our allies there to um, kind of counteract them and we're winning so that's very good um, very quickly though the situation um, deteriorates uh, le let me just point at you that I'm the only one defending the base apart from the uh, that one didn't go through. Uh, the artillery and it's not Enemy armor is damaged. it's not uh, uh, a very good position to be because it means that all the right flank is completely open to uh, attacks uh, from the enemy and uh, at the same time on the left hand side you can see that our allies are dwindling and going down uh, by the minute in fact I'm basically the only one apart from an M2 light has this actually managed to kill uh, an enemy and is still surviving um, well Basically, to cut a long story short, the situation here degenerates rather quickly and as you can see, I'm also not doing my best. Uh, I'm trying to shoot under the track, uh, but without much luck. Um, and suddenly, as you can see, we are... Well, where are we now? Okay, second kill, but it's only... Well, it's only me. Well... At this point, I am alone against seven enemies. I had had enough of dying and it's been destroyed uh, for that day. So I elect to do the only thing really that is worth doing at this point. Rather than trying to put up some hideous heroic resistance, I use the speed of the BT-2 to evade uh, from a dangerous situation and at the same time also evade fire. I've got a T-18 on my tail and a T-127. They obviously know where I am, but I've managed to actually put down some distance thanks to the good speed of the BT-2. Look at that, 55 kilometers an hour. That's not a bad speed, a tier 2. Uh, only the T-2 light really can go faster than this. Um, and whilst I'm there, I think, well, why not go and kill another artillery? I've, I've killed two, I might as well just kill three. I'll still lose the game anyway, I know that. So here I am, approaching their base. There is the artillery, and unfortunately, it's uh, a bishop uh, sorry, it's, uh, no, sorry, uh, I correct myself, it's a bison. So I should be able to take that down. Auto aim. But it's not Enemy enough to take him down. So I release the aim. Uh, at that point I've got, look at that, three enemies on my tail. I think, forget the artillery, let's just try and save our skin. I actually thought at some point, I might, if I could just keep this going, I might actually <laughs> be able maybe to... Uh, uh, to revert the game, but no, that's that. That was probably that was just too much wishful thinking. So I've managed to put some distance down. Um, I'm also taking routes uh, that kind of um, the enemies less, less expecting me to use. I'm also extremely careful not to knock down any trees. Look at this. What I'm doing now. Look at the zigzags that I take, so that not, so that I do not take take down anything, not even a fence. And after all that, base capture is nearly complete. And look where I am now. Exactly where I started. <laughs> well, base capture is completed. And Penetration. I do one shot. That was extremely funny. I, in the end, I managed to survive the game. I went all around the map. I'm nearly at full HP. And I returned exactly where I was. <laughs> And I still did my did. I fired a shot in defense of the base, although too late. Thank you for watching.